Welcome to the ArcGIS tutorial. I am Abhudeep Bishra share with you. I am from Kulna University of Engineering and Technology. Currently, I am studying in the Urban and Regional Planning Department. Today, we will learn about the special referencing tools in ArcGIS, basically about the projection systems. Let's look at the contents that we will cover today. First, we will learn about special reference. Then, we will learn about the geographic coordinate system and projected coordinate system then we will check the coordinate systems in arcmap after that we will add a projected coordinate system in arcmap and finally we will learn the conversion between projections using the project tool first we will learn about the spatial reference spatial reference actually describes where features are located in the world it helps us to locate any area or feature on earth. Most special reference will be either geographic or projected. Now let's see what is a geographic coordinate system. A geographic coordinate system uses three-dimensional ellipsoidal model of earth's surface to define locations using degrees of latitude and longitude. One example of coordinate system, uh, sorry, geographic coordinate system is GCS. 1984 then we will move to the projected coordinate system a projected coordinate system uses information from a geographic coordinate system and translates it to a flat surface there are a lot of projected coordinate systems like btm lcc let's keep the theories aside and move to the arcmap software now we will see how to find the projection system in our data frame or shape files. First, we will see the data frame. Let's double click on the data frame named layers. Then we'll go to the coordinate system. If we look at the bottom, we will see that no coordinate system has been assigned in the data frame. It is because by default, ArcMap doesn't assign coordinate systems. Now let's add a file that has a coordinate system assigned. We will add the shape file of Dhaka city for this purpose. Now let's go to the properties of the shape file and go to the sources. You can see that both projected and geographic coordinate system is assigned in the file. In the projected coordinate system, we have BUTM and in the geographic coordinate system, we have GCS WGS 1984. Now, if we double click on the data frame again, we will see that the data frame has adapted the same coordinate system as the shape file. This is also a default feature of ArcMap that it automatically adapts with the coordinate system of source file. Now we will learn how to add a projected coordinate system in ArcMap. In a lot of situations, you have to work with different projection systems which are not always available in the features of ArcMap. In those situations, you can just create the projection system using the standard parameters of the projection system. First, we will double click in the data frame and go to the coordinate system. Then, we will click the arrow right to the globe icon. Then, click new and select projected coordinate system. You can see there are a lot of fields to input the parameters. First, we will give it a name. As I have already created a BTM preset previously, I will just name it BTM new. Then we will follow the parameters showing on the right side of the screen. The false is ten will be five lakhs. The false north thing will be minus twenty lakhs. The central meridian will be 90. The scale factor is 
zero point nine 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 six and the latitude of origin will be zero. Then we will change the geographic coordinate system to Everest Bangladesh. Then click OK. You can see in the custom folder our projected coordinate system has already been added. This way you can add projection systems in ArcMap. Finally, we will learn about the conversion between projections. This conversion helps when you work with a lot of data origin from different organizations. To do this task, we need the project tool. We can simply search for it here. If we search project, it will appear and click the project data management tool. And in the input data set, you just click the layer here, Dhaka. Uh, you can clearly see that the input uh, coordinate system is showing as BUTM. Now select a suitable location and select a name. Suppose we want to convert this uh, shape file into GCS uh, coordinate system. So we will see uh, select the WGS 1984 and then click OK. Now, if we go to the properties and then source of this layer, you can see that the coordinate system has been changed to GCS WGS 1984. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.